The plane went down within sight of the shore, sparking a frantic search and rescue operation involving ships and helicopters from the Lebanese Navy. Divers could be seen being winched into the water, but there's no word yet if they found any survivors from the crash. Anxious relatives watched from the shore, knowing there was nothing they could do but wait and hope for news. Soldiers gathered wreckage from the beach. At least 20 bodies have also been recovered from the water. Relatives have also been gathering at Beirut airport from where the aircraft took off in the early hours of the morning. The Lebanese Prime Minister met some of them inside the international terminal to offer what comfort he could and assure them everything possible was being done. Uh, the weather is not helping really, but at the same time we're, we're doing all that is needed in order to uh, understand what happened. The owner of this petrol station saw the plane go down. We saw fire falling from the sky, he said, into the sea. It fell in that direction, about a kilometre distance from the shore. The plane took off in atrocious weather with lashing rain, thunder and lightning. But experts say the Boeing 737-800 is well equipped to cope in such conditions. Harry Smith, ITV News.